Good morning. Welcome to our 845 Mass. Our entrance hymn is number 503, Come Follow Me, prepared by June and Giselle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome and as we come in together to praise the Lord and offer our sacrifice to Him. We bring all our intentions and we pray for our families, and uh, for our friends, and uh, for the country, and uh, for the end of the pandemic. So let us uh, gather together, offer our prayers. And today we especially pray for our mass intention, and uh, we pray for our repose, the souls of Edward Michael Collins, a Roman pastor. We remember them in our prayers. Let us uh, acknowledge our sins and uh, ask God for pardon and for peace.
Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Intercede, intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O、oh、God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, by a sudden blow. I am taking away from you the delight of your eyes, but do not warn or meet, weep or shed any tears. Groan in silence, make no lament for the dead. Bind on your turban, put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your beard, and do not eat the customary bread. That evening, my wife died, and the next morning, I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, "Will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean for us?" I therefore spoke to the people that morning, saying to them. Thus the word of the Lord came to me: Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God: I will not desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold of your pride, the delight of your eyes, the desire of your soul. The sons and daughters you left behind shall fall by the sword. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he did, you shall do when it happens. Thus, you shall know that I am the Lord. You shall do as I have done: not covering your beards, not entering the custom, not eating the customary bread. Your turbans shall remain on your heads, your sandals on your feet. You shall not mourn or weep. But you shall rot away because of your sins, and groan one to another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger toward his sons and daughters. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no god and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people, with a foolish nation. I will anger them. You have, have forgotten, forgotten God, God who, made who gave you birth. birth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? Which uh, there's only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourselves. The young man said to him, All of this I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Probably, whenever we hear this story, we bear a sense of guilt inside of ourselves uh, because uh, each of us never gave up everything and to follow Jesus Christ as Jesus commanded this young man to do. And, but uh, we shall not bear that guilt in our sight because uh, Jesus, indeed, in his life, and he called many people and uh, many apostles. And when, they, when he called them, they gave up everything and followed him. We hear that when Jesus called Peter and Andrew, John and James, they gave up and they bowed and they knelt, and uh, even they, they left their family and followed Jesus. And uh, indeed, they become the apostle of Jesus. And uh, like uh, many other cases, and Jesus did not call everybody and saying, oh, you have to go and sell everything and follow me. But this young man approached to Jesus, and uh, at that moment, uh, Jesus loved him, and uh, he is a law keeper, and uh, he ke kept all the uh, commandment, and uh, he said, uh, what do I still lack inside of me? And uh, in order to be perfect, and Jesus says, if you want to um, really pursue per per perfection, and go and sell everything and follow me. At their statement, uh, he felt very sad. He went away because he has many possessions, and he's not uh, ready to give up everything, make the choice, and to follow Jesus or to have his possessions and he chose his possessions rather than Jesus Christ. And uh, we, of course, Jesus not calling each of us, oh, sell your house and uh, give up your family and uh, follow me. Jesus probably does call somebody uh, to do that, like uh, the priest, maybe when we, when we were called, uh, we, uh, especially for religious priests, we take three vows. And the vow of poverty, that means you do not have the right to own sins, and uh, you give up the right to, possess, to have possessions. And second, uh, uh, we called to the vow of chastity, that means you are not going to marry, you are going to be chaste in your life, and you give up your marriage. Then uh, another is a vow of obedience, that means you always follow God's will. You always follow what uh, God demanded you to do, and uh, you give up your will. And indeed, uh, we, some of us are called to do that. But uh, some of us called to 
uh, to get married, have a family, to raise the children, and uh, probably make money, and uh, then work hard, raise money. But uh, that's uh, for each of us. And no matter you live a religious life or you live as a married life, you always uh, have a choice in following Jesus Christ. Jesus, in another way, is calling you. And we constantly making this choice because God constantly calls us to really follow Jesus Christ. And uh, we often face that uh, choice in our life as Jesus' voice uh, speaking inside of us. Uh, are you willing, are you ready for that moment uh, to do what uh, Jesus commands us to do? especially when we are uh, facing choices in our daily life, like uh, in the pandemic. And probably Jesus is calling us to do something and probably reach out to somebody who is in trouble and to be loving, to be kind to those people who are truly going, difficult, going through difficult times. Are we willing, uh, are we ready to make that choice. If we choose uh, to be selfish, if we choose to be self-centered, then probably Jesus is also uh, very sad that we do not make that choice and do not follow his call to be loving and to be kind. And uh, indeed, uh, we, our Lord, always uh, blessed us and uh, here, and Jesus did not really condemn uh, uh, the rich, uh, rich, richness, but Jesus is sad that a young man cannot give up what he has and to follow Jesus Christ. So here is a choice. What do we choose? And the young, young man, rich young man, choose his possession rather than Jesus Christ. And uh, we also have a choice. Do we choose things or do we choose people in our life? Uh, a lot of times we put things above people and that's usually we hinder uh, ourselves to accept God's blessings in our life. So let us uh, come to the Lord. We know uh, the young, uh, Jesus told the young man, give up everything and you will have treasure in heaven and uh, indeed Jesus is right there and Jesus could be his treasure but he rather than choose material things in this world so we know who did Jesus choose and what is treasure for Jesus Christ and he chose to come into the world. He chose each of us, and he chose cross in order to bring eternal life for each of us. So Jesus still giving, and in this Eucharist, he gave himself as true treasure for us. And Jesus still calling each of us to, uh, to emulate uh, him and to follow his example and to choose what is most important in our life. Let us uh, choose people, choose Jesus, and choose kingdom rather than the material things in the world which can hinder us from the possession of the kingdom in heaven. Let us call upon the Lord who heeds us in all our needs. We pray for the entire Catholic Church, Pope Francis, Bishop Salvatore, Bishop Daniel, all the religious and priests and laity, that it may always 
seek to know and carry out God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the gap. We pray that the gap between the rich and poor will be bridged, so that poverty, hunger, and homelessness become sins of the past. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that each of us will cast out the worship of the false gods of money and possessions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are considering giving up everything for the service of God. May they have the courage to do His will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for young people. Especially those we know, that they keep Christ as their leader and follow Him in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering in this pandemic, and pray for the sick in the hospitals, and pray for those families struggle financially, and may God come to their aid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all our beloved deceased. And today, especially, we pray for Edward Michael Collins, a Roman pastor. May God rest them in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, in silence of our heart, we lift up our own prayers. For all the prayers in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grace and loving God, we thank you for the faith you have given us, especially in this difficult time. May we still hold you and are loving you and trusting trusting you by offer our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God, be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours. May be acceptable to the Lord Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the Lord. sacrifice at your hand. May the glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to Let the us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things. Now, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit, 
and the poor of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Make partakers of Christ through these sacraments. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks、Let's、be、eat. to God. Thank、you.